Greater Good Radio. Connect, learn, heal, and grow. I think that we have the opportunity here in Hawaii, especially to see amazing cultural practitioners, you know, of all different ethnicities, really, that have had these cultural traditions that have just been passed down to them. And to me, those are the fire keepers. Those are the people that are keeping the knowledge burning alive. And I remember one experience I had at the University of Hawaii. I was actually in nursing school after I graduated high school. But I had this i'ini or this desire to learn Hawaiian knowledge and Hawaiian language. So I was taking, you know, both Hawaiian studies and Hawaiian language classes at the same time. And for the first time ever, I saw La'au Lapa'au being offered as a class at Hawaiian studies. So I was like, I'm going to take this, right? I'm at nursing school, Hawaiian medicine. Like, yes, I'm all about this. So I took the course, had the amazing opportunity to study under Lavan Ohai, who was a cultural practitioner in La'o Lapa'o. His story of how he got to the university was all magic. He shared with us on the first day of class how he got there. And he said he was at home on Kauai reading a newspaper and he saw Kamakokalani come up, which is the Center for Hawaiian Knowledge at UH. And he knew something was calling him there. He didn't know what for. He showed up and went into the main office and... Auntie Marv Lee, who was the kind of the caretaker and the boss lady behind the counter there at the time, asked him if he needed any help. And he's like, no, I don't really know. I'm just, you know, it's kind of hot outside and I'll just maybe sit in the AC. And he talks about Lili Kala Kame'elehivo, who was a director at that time, another one of my kumu, running back into the office kind of frantically with like binders and like trying to get to a meeting, but she forgot something. And then she saw him and she introduced herself and he introduced himself. And, you know, she asked him if he needed help. And he's like, I'm not really sure I've been brought here. And, you know, she paused to ask him a couple more questions. And then she had Auntie Marv cancel all her appointments. And what she told him in her office was that, you know, she had been so carefully and all the kumu there, like trying to capture all the cultural practices that still exist, Aloi, all the different things, right? Hale building. But she was talking to Kekuni Blaisdell who was a medical doctor, but very much in the Hawaiian activism movement as well. And she said, you know, Kekuni, I have not been able to find La'o Lapa'o as a practice and I can't bring it, you know, because I haven't found the right person. And that he told her, you know, sometimes you just got to get on your hands and knees and pray. And so they did that together. And then, you know, Lavan Ohai walks through the door one day and he became an instructor there for years and years to come. And for him, it was a breaking of a couple that his grandparents had given him to share the knowledge. But it was almost like the universal message that he needed to share the knowledge. It was time. And the things that I learned in that class just blew my mind. I dropped out of nursing school after that semester with the support of my husband. Because I was like, what am I doing with my life? And he's like, follow your heart. Like, we'll be fine. Like, you just got to follow your heart. And so that was an aha moment for me is that I was here in this like Western discipline of nursing, studying about how to take care of people and really focused on symptoms. And then I spend, you know, time with Levan Ohai and we're talking about how to heal bodies spiritually, physically, emotionally. And, and I really wanted to be a part of the healing process, not a part of the managing and fixing process. And so I left nursing school, which was kind of a big deal because it's kind of a hard school to get into at the University of Hawaii. But I ended up graduating in the same time frame with a double bachelor's in Hawaiian studies and Hawaiian language. But if not for that La'o Lapa'o class and that firekeeper and that wisdom that he shared with us, my life might have been like completely different. If you resonate with Greater Good Radio, please join our community at www.greatergoodradio.com, where you can get access to exclusive content and offerings. Hope to see you soon.